Hello there, this is David Pally again, and in this video series we're going to go over creating a version, or my version, of Sticky Lips. So, I was inspired to do this setup by another video. It went over how to create a ribbon setup that essentially has a cluster controlling a ribbon, and then you can control the specific weights of that cluster per vertex and therefore controlling the ribbon with a ramp and I was inspired by that because if you can control the weights of a cluster per vertex I'm sh you can do that with blend shapes and other deformers as well and so that's how I've set up this sticky lips rig is using a series of blend shapes to control the ribbon so if I turn on the dynamic, you can get a better look at this. So you can see here that the dynamic sticky lips that I have set up are designed to work based off of how how open the jaw is. And this is always adjustable. I can also set it up to just go back to a regular manual setup, and I can control both sides of the mouth with just a regular old attribute to control the stickiness of the lips. So I can do stickiness with just one side, I can do it with both at the same time, I have attributes with both. The dynamic works on both at the same time. And I also have an attribute just to turn it on and off, so I never have to worry about it being accidentally on. So this is the setup I use. I'll show you the setup that I use for it. So I have the rig on a separate blend shape, it just makes it easier as far as hierarchy issues and things like that since there's multiple curves with blend shapes and ribbons and all of that and it's a pain to get it to follow the rig without getting double transforms so I just put it on a separate blend shape and have it affect the original and then this jaw icon controls this one which opens the jaw here so if I open up the group here you can see so the way I have this set up is I have a series of curves here so I have one for the upper and lower lips, and then these curves here are being controlled by two sets of bound curves here. So I have an upper and lower curve here um, that are essentially weighted to the rig, the head and the jaw, and a sticky curve which is just set up to kind of be halfway in between depending on what the weights are for the mouth here but it's just it's designed essentially to just be halfway. And these curves are applied as a blend shape to this one, which in turn affects a, um, a ribbon, which has a series of joints on it, and those joints affect the geometry. Um, and then I have some extra stuff down here. I don't know, move this part of the lips. I have some extra stuff down here designed to showcase um, just how to do the dynamic setup as well, which is essentially what this distance tool is here. Um, and I'm going to go over how to do all of this. Um, and one thing you don't see here is there's a series of, if I open the note editor here, there's a series of set range nodes. The, the way I control the sticky lips, and you'll see there's a lot here, but um, this is all very easily scriptable. So what I have here is a number of set range nodes. And essentially what these set range nodes are doing is converting the sticky lips attributes that you see up here and dividing it up amongst how many CVs are on the curve and dividing that number up. So there's about, uh, at least on the lower lip, I think about 30 CVs on that curve. So we have 30 set range nodes here, and as you can see, the separation between these is only about 0.6. So it takes the 0 to 10 attribute for the sticky lips and divides it by 30 and essentially applies those, or it divides it by half of that. So it divides it by 15 and then applies those values here in order based on the number of verts. And then for the uh, that's for the left side and the right side does it in reverse order as well. And I also have 
So these set range nodes here control essentially turning on, on and off one of the blend shapes. And then you see here I have a bunch of flip set range nodes that are hooked up into each individual set range node, which essentially flips the value from 0 to 1 to 1 to 0. And that controls the other blend shape uh, that's affecting the main curve, or what I call the wire curve here. And that's essentially how I have the sticky lips working here. And so in the first part of the video here, I will go over how to set up the curves and the blend shapes. The second video will go over setting up the, uh, the ribbon and the joints. And the third video will go over how to set up the dynamic switch. And, or, uh, yeah, the dynamic uh, jaw opening for the sticky lips and all of that. So once we, so in the first video, I will go over how to set up the curves and the blend shapes. So stay tuned.